When we start getting past the question of asking what time is it, and we start asking the question, what is this time for? It gets us down the path of learning what it means to redeem the time, to make the most of every opportunity. I'm asking you to really live, and people that really live are people who have faced up to the reality that we are here for not a long time, that we will order our days aright so that we can have a heart of wisdom, so that we can make the most of every opportunity, so that we can glorify God in who we are, and so that everywhere people can see that Jesus has claim on every aspect of who we are, including our time. For men, love and security. For women, respect. Let this vision be what motivates you. God wants to paint a picture to the world of his son. And he wants to do that through your marriage. Ask yourself the question, what kind of canvas am I offering to him? Sexual intimacy is where mutual love and respect and service ought to come into play because the gospel lays claim on even that area of our life. And the gospel calls you and I, as husbands and wives just in general, to love and to serve one another in mutuality. And the gospel calls us, even in the context of sexual intimacy, to love and serve one another in mutuality. You'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses. Now, why could we guarantee that they would be witnesses when the Holy Spirit came upon them? Here's why. Because the role of the Holy Spirit is this. He wants the whole world for Jesus. We live in an age of globalization. And so now our mission is not just chronological, it is simultaneous. In other words, we can be hands and feet of Jesus at home or in the farthest parts of the world. Why is this so important? Because when you let Jesus everywhere in your life, then your life will most freely testify everywhere for the gospel. When you let him into everywhere in your life, then wherever you go, your life will more readily Testify everywhere you are to the reality of the Lordship of Jesus Christ. That he is your everything. In your parenting, in your marriage, in your work, in your relationships, in everything. That's the point.